need yourself, a camera and a tripod. Step 1. Film yourself. First search for a big room, then place the camera on one side of the room, click record and then you go to the other side of the room. Stand there for 5 seconds and remember where you were standing. Then move the camera a little bit closer to your position, click record and so on. Do this until your camera is as close as possible to your eye. Step 2. Editing. Now we need to cut out those scenes where we are just standing towards the camera and nothing happens. So we need to cut out every single angle we've shot. Great, when you've done that, we need to apply to every single clip the Ken Burns effect. And here's a very important thing to keep in mind. I'll show it to you with the first scene. So go to Ken Burns. And now, make always sure the starting frame is the wider frame of both frames. So we need always to make sure that the cross of both frames is positioned at our nose. So do the same thing with the ending frame, make it a little bit smaller, like this. And this technique we will apply to every single clip. <laughs> Okay guys, so when the camera is so close to your face, just make sure the starting frame is as wide as possible and then the ending frame just zooms into the picture. Now it's not important anymore that the cross is at our nose. Right before we are on the close-up on our eye, adjust the ending frame of the Ken Burns effect into your eye, like this. When you've done that, cool. With the last close-up eye shot, we need to do something special, something different. So first I'll show you what you will need to do with all the other clips. Mark them, change their duration to 12. Now we got this fast zoom into our eye effect. Now connect all those scenes with a simple dissolved transition. You'll find it right here. Just drag it onto every clip. Don't make it so long, make it relatively short. Great, so when you've done that, we have the smooth zoom movement into our eye. Now, go to the last close-up shot of your eye. First, make it a little bit slower so we have more time to play with. Okay guys, and now, first apply the Ken Burns effect to the whole clip. So like this, make sure the starting frame is a wider frame right here. Then adjust the ending frame right to your eye. So frame it like that. Done. Now after I would say one second, set another cut. Go to the second part of the clip, to Ken Burns. Switch the positions of starting and ending frame and make the ending frame even smaller. So right to your eye. So make the second part of the clip a little bit shorter and I would center the ending frame a little bit more to my eye, like that. Great. I'd say the first part of the clip should be faster too, so I'll make it faster. Great. Now we want to go from our eye to some other place, just like in Jesse Wallen's video. So I'll just take my drone footage, put it just under my eye, <laughs> like that. Now go to the effects, type in Luma Kia and drag it onto your last clip. Now first adjust those wheels right here because now our eye is zero opacity. So drag it over here. And now go to almost the first frame of the clip, set a keyframe. Now go to the last quarter of the clip and drag the upper dongle right here to the left. And now go to almost the last frame of the clip and drag this here also to the left. Put your footage under your last eye scene. And now we got a smooth dissolve into our film. <laughs> If 
you have any suggestions for future videos, just tell me in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye bye.